everybody, how's it? Aloha. Okay, something totally new. Never heard this band before. Necrophagist. Ne Necrophagist. If I'm saying it wrong, please be gentle, be kind. Straighten me out with that one, please. Uh, the song is Stab Wound. So by the looks of the artwork and the title and the name of the band, I'm probably in for some serious uh, metal chugging and soul mugging. Um, I want to thank you guys for your support and everything. The last song that I just did earlier um, was really, really super cool. I got a really great response. And I uh, always love hearing the comments from you guys. You guys enlighten this old decomposer about uh, you know the bands and musicians in this journey and stuff, and I'm really stoked about that. As I wish you would do that with this too, being I've never heard the band, the song, tell me a little bit about uh, uh, this band. And, and it looks like this was uploaded in 2008, so this probably could be a much older track than even that upload date. So here we go, guys. Necrophagist Stab Wound. All right. That is absolutely insane musicianship going on there. Um, first of all, I love the guitar tones on this. The guitar tones are perfect for this style of playing. And when I talk about this style of playing, I'm talking about the many different techniques that are being used, not only by the guitar player, but the bass player. I mean, for me, I try to, when I, when I listen to a first time, it's kind of, it can be overwhelming, especially something as powerful and a skill set of musicianship as this is because I get so like, oh shit, look at the, listen to the kick. Oh my God, the drums, oh, the bass. Oh, the, what, it's, I mean, literally, that's the kind of energy that's coming from this track, but the, um, the arrangements, both, both rhythmically and melodically, are insane. So you have you know, you, many different techniques that they're using you know, with their playing and sweep, uh, stuff from sweeps to taps and stuff. But there was that one section there where the bass player just went absolutely Richter on his skill set doing the same thing. So these are so this is this is just rhythmical ceremonial ritual at another level going on right here. Um, and then the speed in which they're playing, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, we don't have to yah yah about that. Then when the the uh, lead singer comes in, uh, what a rich, deep, thick bottom end growl going on there. It kind of was like the thing I was looking for to kind of go, oh, I'm centered, <laughs> believe it or not. You know, uh, even though I don't know what he's saying, I, and even if I could hear lyrics, you guys know how I am. I never listen to words. And the, the, the lead singer is a musician with his instrument before he is a lyricist, you know, singing words for me. Um, but the insane uh, musicianship is of so apparent. Plus, being on own, I, I'm thinking there's two guitar players on this, because even though they're in unison in a lot of things, um, there's definitely some skipping around in uh, har harmonies going. So they might be doing their really fast licks and sweeps that are going there, and they're in unison. There's times where, like, let's say this guitar breaks away and does something just slightly different. And f that's an engineer's dream. Uh, coming from the engineer point of view, uh, when you have musicians that are this insane uh, with their skill, uh, with their talent and stuff like that, and you know you're going to go hard left, hard right, you know for the journey, that is that is an additional bonus, Jack, 
to uh, the dynamics. Did I say bonus jack? You guys remember that from like Jack in a Box in the 1960s and 70s? Jeez. Boy, did I just stomp old guy right on my forehead. Anyhow, <laughs> well, let's keep going. Uh, this is crazy sick. I'm loving this. Okay, I gotta stop there really quick. I just, the uh, tempo shift where they cut into halftime there, um, that, you, you can see I completely changed my, my physical rhythm of what I was doing. I was really, that really just, I rinsed really heavy into that. Uh, obviously now, um, as my ears let me feel, there's layering going on here right now. So there's solos that are switching off. I don't, I, I, I can't, I can't tell which guitar players, because you got the crunches that are, you know, holding down the bass, uh, the chords, um, while the solos are going off and stuff. And you can hear the solos cross over in tone. Um, in other words, the note's hanging out. Is that note still hanging out? Another solo kind of creeps into it behind there. So there's some really tasteful layering going on. But in my mind, at the same time, in real time, when I'm listening to this as a guitar player myself, I'm thinking to myself, that's doable live. You know, like it wouldn't be like a big stretch for them to to do that, uh, except they maybe wouldn't hold those notes long if if uh, if they wanted to attempt the same exact performance as this. I would I would imagine that live that the bass would step it up a little hotter in the center, you know, to carry them through that. <laughs> Excuse me, if they didn't have you know those power chords in the back. But I love that. I love the layering. I love that cut time in the drums. It gave me that opportunity to kind of go, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. All right. That's a definite ending right there. Oh man, that was really sick. <laughs> I loved it. Actually, um, you know, the precision and the musicianship there uh, is, un is unmeasurable in the sense that, you know, that's, that's next level um, 5.0, you know, guitar playing. But uh, like I said, this was, this video upload is in 2008, so I don't know exactly how old this track is. When you guys, uh, maybe in the comments, let me know, you know, when this track was released. I love, 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 love hearing this uh, level of musicianship and arrangement. Uh, I love the engineering of the kick. You know, I'm a drum freak when it comes about that. Now, it was a little more, you know, packed, packaged uh, in the dynamics of the mix. So the hard left and right was definitely owned by the guitars. Um, but by no stretch of the imagination with the drums not dynamic in a stereo uh, environment, it just wasn't as hard left and right is you know some of the songs that i've gone through here on on uh, on my channel so uh thank you out of nowhere just for dropping this band on me once again please leave your comments leave you know your bands that you want me to check out i also have other social media profiles in the link down below 
Uh, if you saw any uh, advertising on this, I'm sorry, my channel is not monetized for me. It's copyright claim. So if you see fit, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee to support the channel, that's super cool beans. Um, the link will be down below. The link for the AKG 240s uh, are also down below. So thanks for hanging out. And um, wow, this was, uh, this was an epic fireball experience for me with this band. Take care, guys. All right.